Hello and welcome to day 29 of the Owl and Coconuts free 30 days of mindful art. So can't believe it's day 29 already, this has gone so quickly, um, but hope that you've all enjoyed it, um, learning mindful arts with us. Um, I obviously said at the beginning that I wanted to share my journey of learning it because it's new for me. The kind of artis artistic pra practice um, I really enjoy, but I'm very, very new to the mindfulness side. So um, I wanted to share my journey and some of the things that I found. Um, so kind of like as an evaluation, I really enjoyed the 30 days. Um, I think for me, it's combining the artistic practice with the mindfulness that really helps having that time to use art to take time out of the day, rest your brain, reflect over how you feel, reflect over things and then act on them. It just really works for me. I find it really important and it's something that I'm planning on trying to continue to do. Um, I wanted to kind of leave you with three kind of top tips or my top tips of things that I've learned. Um, so following on from what I just said, it's making sure that you kind of, you don't have to do it every day because I think some of the days I wasn't I wasn't in the right frame of mind to do a particular practice and so I still sort of did it and maybe didn't gain as much as I would have if I would have chose a different day or a different practice. So I think it's just remembering that being mindful is very important and using mindful arts is really impactful um, in terms of encouraging you to relax, to be in a moment, to appreciate something to see that it is what it is and then to maybe act of it after that or just be more mindful um, in hindsight after that experience. But I really do think it's important to choose the right, the right. I, sp I suppose it's more than one than just choosing the right artistic practice. It's also choosing the right day, choosing the right space. For me, I quite liked being out in the open um, and not necessarily within doors when it was very quiet. Uh, so for me, out in the open was really useful. And I quite liked the videos, and um, that was just sort of still video shots with the noises of the train tracks and the sea. Um, so I think it's finding what works for you. Not maybe sticking to it because it's good to explore in case there is something else that you find that you like. But I think finding what's good for you in terms of the day, your mood, the type of artist artistic practice is really important. So I really enjoyed the more tactile practices, so I like the metal, I really enjoyed the water, um, and also the um, mindful photography was really interesting because it was something that was completely new, something that I do every day is taking pictures of something, but not as mindfully as I did in that moment, so that's something that I'd really like to explore further. Um, I suppose that's two tips, is finding the artistic process that you enjoy, and also finding the right kind of mood that you're in, um, and the right space um, and I suppose my third kind of tip is to remember to share them so it was really good for me doing it with friends to kind of see what they thought of it and to share that experience with them I think just sharing the tools because that's exactly what we're trying to do at the Island of Coconut is share and promote mindful arts so that people can really see the, the impact that it has and for people to, to use it, obviously as they wish, but to explore our, our tools more and to also kind of improve them as well in a sense. This was the way of us, by sharing this 30 days of mindfulness, we wanted to find ways in which we could improve what we were selling to people. So, you know, find what people enjoyed, find what people didn't quite like, so we could tailor that and introduce this to new people who were coming on on the journey with us so um i think definitely sharing the tools is like massively important because you're actually sharing those things that have made you a better person in a way um so i'll definitely be planning i definitely am going to continue to continue mindful arts um and i hope that you do too and we'll definitely have uh, some more of these videos in the future um, but we continue to sort of listen to your views so please please tell us what you thought of the 30 days of mindful arts what practices you enjoyed the most of how we could have improved it maybe this isn't the best way to share our mindful arts but um, please do let us know because without feedback we really can't develop this this really exciting work um, so yeah I suppose Reflecting back over my top tips, one would be to find an artistic process that makes you buzz. The second one would be to make sure you're in the right, from mind, in the right space, in the right mood, or I suppose it's the space 
and the frame of mind that has to kind of link together. Um, and the third is to share the tools. So thank you very much and see you all very soon.